Welcome everyone, this is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a great trading day. I was joined uh, last show uh, by Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. If you missed that, you can go see us on YouTube at Tiger Financial News Network. You go and click the videos tab. That excerpt should be up there shortly after the end of programming. Looking at the composite right now, off about 0.04% today. You have the DJI off about 0.44%. Uh, DXY strong today, trading up at 101.97. Briefly for a moment today, uh, trading above that 102 level. Of course, crude is running up today, up about 5.38%. Uh, we'll see what happens regarding uh, the tensions between Israel and Iran. Uh, the E mini is off about 0.2%. That gold contract sideways as well, up about 0.28%, uh, trading at 2,677. Copper off today, about 2.24%, trading at 4. 54. Uh, let's see what else we got. Russell off about 0.7%. Silver up about 1.22. See if anything else is happening. I think Tesla's still getting kind of uh, wrecked as it stands right now. Yep, off about 3.38%. Steel Dynamics finishing uh, sideways. Huh. What an interesting time today. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to bring up, if I can get this up right now, I do have an interesting kind of thing to bring. Oh, yeah. Some more. Strange stuff, really like macroeconomically speaking, right? The one thing, obviously, is everything going on with FEMA, right? There's some really good articles that are out right now that if you live in these affected zones, which I've spoke with some clients earlier, and we have some people who do, uh, be very careful uh, with some of the people that try to contact you saying they can give a certain kind of aid. Obviously, the government is kind of strained right now uh, with some certain aid. You have Duke Energy coming out and saying uh, all their infrastructure, basically in the Carolinas, are completely down. Uh, this is pretty nuts. You have U.S. mortgage rates are increasing right now. Again, I think this is kind of adding, or at least can add to our hypothesis, that not everyone is totally sold on um, an extraordinarily soft landing right now, or at least the idea that inflation is totally gone away. You have mortgage rates in the U.S. rose for the first time in seven weeks to the highest level since the middle of September. Fixed loan was 6.12% up from 6.08. And in crazy news uh, that I think is amazing, Lord of the Rings director, he uh, gave $10 million in order to bring the dodo back from extinction. How about that? It's the kind of stuff I like seeing my millionaires do. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We're joined tomorrow by Tommy O'Brien at 9 a.m., then Basil, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then Tom O'Brien. Take care.